As for today's video let's focus on Huawei's photonic chip in order to break the limitation of American chip restrict Huawei has taken a big action and started research in another field that is photonic chip why did Huawei do this well at first the performance of this chip is better than the current commonly used chip most importantly it does not need lithography machines that we don't have because of American sanctions as that. The research of Huawei's photonic chip going on recently Huawei CEO. Renjin Fei asked Chinese technical experts who studied in the U.S. back to China for its photonic chip development in case of America makes some more sanctioned in the future and then the American expert flied back to China immediately it seems that Renj and Fei words works okay let's get more details about it as we all know the production of chips is closely related to the lithography machine compared with the production of Chips the technology of the lithography machine for manufacturing. Chips is much more difficult there is no exaggeration to say that manufacturing a lithography machine is even more difficult than manufacturing atomic bombs not only does it have top-notch requirements for various technologies it also requires extremely high levels of manufacturing processes because the number of parts that make up the U of lithography machine has reached 100,000 many core parts require. Extremely strong manufacturing processes to complete there are about 5,000 suppliers for an You've lithography machine which shows how difficult to develop and you've lithography machines however the more difficult it is to manufacture you've lithography machines the more difficult it is for developing China's domestic you've lithography machines this road is destined to be a long process full of hardships and challenges that is the reason why Huawei turned its eyes on the development of photonic chips. Many people may have such a question what is the difference between the photonic chip and the commonly used chip in fact most users can intuitively feel the difference between them the photonic chips work efficiency operating efficiency and the transmission speed of the system stall are higher than the chips we commonly use all in all the photonic chip will provide users with a better experience photonic chips are generally considered to be the most likely next generation chip material compared. With current electronic chips the optical fiber transmission speed of the photonic chip is very fast and the loss is also very well controlled at present various countries are also promoting the development of this project ranging FEI has stated the most heartbreaking thing is that the talent cultivated at high prices in China have become other countries treasure it is the first problem to be solved right now that all Chinese chickens return to the motherland to lay eggs dot in fact there is no Shortage of talent in China what is lacking is the way to retain talents every year there is a large outflow of talents the United States has full respect for talents a good research atmosphere and generous salaries more and more international students got PhDs and chose to stay in Silicon Valley to work and even more became American citizenship the founder of China micro semiconductors in Jiao chose to return to China at the age of 60. The 5 nanometers etching machine developed by his company has entered the production line of TSMC and has become one of the world's top manufacturers so far in Geo has obtained more than 300 technical patents since he returned to China and he said compared to the top Chinese PhDs in the United States his technology and status are not the most outstanding when he was still working at Intel most. Of the technical RD personnel and team leaders were Chinese if we think about it the reasons for. The huge outflow of talent must come from China and how to retain talent is currently the most critical problem for China. The good news is that after Yin Ji is precedent many semiconductor talents have returned to China one after another. Recently there comes another good news again a top Chinese talent is going to return from the United States and reject the temptation of high salaries abroad after returning to China. He will devote himself to the development of the domestic semiconductor.
industry and he is the chip Dr. Chan Lin. He studied at the University of California in the United States and obtained a PhD during the time at the University of California. He participated in the research and development of photonic chips and various top semiconductor technologies. Of course, Huawei will not let such a talent go at present. Huawei has obtained a technology called optical computing chips. Systems and data processing which is complementary to the research direction of Chan Lin next. We will see whether Huawei can grasp this talent if a participant can be perfectly integrated then it is very meaningful for the development of the domestic semiconductor industry and Huawei High Silicon will have a strong support such aspiring young people must contribute a lot to the development of China's science and technology. It will be the strong assistance for the research and development of Huawei's photonic chips. Chang Lin has been working hard in the field of photonic chips for a long time. The problem of optical fiber refractive index that once dumped the industry's top experts has been solved by Dr. Chang Lin. However, as of July 8, 2022, I have not seen any reports that Chang Lin has returned to China, only that he is ready to return to China. It is said that the United States will never let Chang Lin return to China and is trying every means to keep him. Chang Lin's research result is to reduce the waveguide transmission loss to below 0.1 dB per m while the silicon-based waveguide generally has a loss of the order of dBCm. I believe that Charles Lin's return to China will definitely accelerate the process of promoting photonic chips to practical applications here. I also sincerely wish that Chang Lin can return to China safely and continue to contribute to his beloved chip business with China's increasing development and strength more and more overseas Chinese scientists have begun to return to the motherland to help the development of China's technology industry such as Liang Mengsong and Jiang Shangi from SMIC and Yin Jiao from Ocean Microelectronics to be honest the technology of photonic chips is not only in China's research and development many countries have also invested a lot of money in this area it is just that China has developed it very early and has come to the forefront of the world today. China's chip technology has broken the previous U.S. monopoly on the chip market. The technological breakthrough of the Chinese scientific research team this time is enough to give China a seat in this field. When the United States saw the results of research and development it proposed to share technology, China was also surprised by this. This technology has kept China in a leading position in the world. Semiconductor industry it successfully broke through the monopoly of Western countries and the limitations of the United States. This incident has taught China a lesson which is you will be beaten if you fall behind so we Chinese must accelerate the pace of the semiconductor industry and master core technologies walk in the forefront no longer be passive and no longer be controlled by others. Okay that's all for today please put your comments below and share your insightful ideas please keep following our channel and like our videos. Thank you so much for your continuous support your precious time with us is highly appreciated see you.